What if you could transform a basic shirt photo into a high-end fashion shot with just one click? Swap dresses, style your tee over or underpants, all while keeping stunningly precise details and textures intact. Meet Clothes Transfer V1 by Jaw. Hey, what's up? This is Jal from Jal's AI Show and welcome back to another very exciting AI tutorial. I know what you're thinking. It looks complicated at first glance with all those nodes. But it's really just built around two main sections working together. We'll break down each section one by one. I'll show you exactly how they function, point out the key components you need to know about, and reveal the most important settings to tweak for perfect results every time. And yes, this powerful workflow, I'm giving it away completely free. If you're new to ComfyUI, you might want to check out my installation guide. So without any further ado, let's get started. The process consists of two key steps, masking and sampling. For the masking phase, we'll focus on two separate groups, the outfit mask and the person mask. Once those are set, we'll activate sampling to continue the workflow. Here you can see our input sections, one for the outfit and another for the person. Let's upload an outfit and a person image, then hit run. Now let's break down the results. First, the person's image is resized to dimensions suited for flux while maintaining its proportions. We control this using a dedicated node with a recommended size range between 1024 and 1344 pixels. You can go higher for better quality and precision, but keep in mind that larger sizes will slow down processing. Once resized, the person's image is sent to the outfit section where the outfit is adjusted to the same dimensions. However, this time, instead of preserving proportions, we fill and crop the outfit to fit. The final result, a perfectly resized person image with proportional consistency paired with an outfit that matches the dimensions. Don't worry if the outfit is cropped slightly, this cropping doesn't affect the outcome. In most cases, the workflow runs flawlessly. But if you're looking for perfection, try to upload an outfit that's close to the person image aspect ratio. And that's it. Now let's move to the next step. Here in this node, you'll see the different stages of the process. First, let's activate the outfit mask and jump into it. This section handles outfit masking and offers four distinct methods. Manual mask, RMBG, human segmentation, and human parts. The workflow is simple. Run this group, evaluate the generated masks, and select the best one for your needs. To choose your preferred method, just go to the mask method node here, and you can switch between options. For example, one for manual masking, two for RMBG, three for human segmentation, and four for human parts. In this case, RMBG did a great job. I'll select that by choosing two. Next up, person masking. Here, we've streamlined the methods to three, excluding RMBG since it just removes the background and preserves unwanted elements like the head and body. Instead, we rely on manual mask, segment anything, human parts. In the human segmentation method, you can specify exactly what to mask. In our case, we we'll select upper clothes. The same applies to the body parts masking method. So, I'll also choose top close. The workflow remains straightforward. Generate the masks, evaluate the result, and pick the cleanest. Confirm your choice by updating the selection in the mask method node. Once set, you're ready to start generating by activating the sampling step and just run the queue. When working with similar inputs, you can simply load them while maintaining all your current settings and run your queue. Notice how all the original shirt details have been perfectly preserved. By the way, these photos were made with Flux. Check my tutorial to see how. Let's test a real example this time. I got this photo from Pexel's website. First, I'll disable sampling and execute the process. In this case, both masking methods produce somewhat imperfect results. 
After comparing them, I'll select human segmentation as the better option. You'll observe some minor black dots within the mask, which we can easily correct by slightly expanding the mask area and applying some blur. After selecting human segmentation and running the process again, you can see the improvement. Those remaining white artifacts won't affect the final output. They just indicate areas where the model has permission to make changes. Now let's activate sampling and run the complete queue to see our final results. Almost flawless. Shirts are tricky with these buttons. What if we take this same woman in her long sleeve shirt and combine her with a t-shirt design? The result is already correct and perfect. But I want the t-shirt to appear over her pants, not tucked in. The problem, the current mask restricts the AI from drawing over the pants area. To fix that, switch to manual masking, open the mask editor, and refine the shirt's outline. Around the neckline and most importantly, extend the mask lower to give the AI room to draw over the waistband. Hit save and run the queue. Exactly what I wanted. The t-shirt layers naturally over the pants. So manual masking gives us precise control on how we want clothes to look like. Let's explore a more challenging scenario this time. We're going to transfer clothing from another person and this outfit is really complicated. Honestly, I'm not even sure what to call this outfit style. The unusual shapes and layers will challenge our clothes transfer workflow. So let's put it to the test. Now let's focus on the outfit mask and run the queue. Since RMBG will just remove the background, keeping all the body parts, we'll skip that option. Instead, we'll select human parsing from the human segmentation options and choose upper clothes. And look at that, this gives us an okayish result. It will definitely work, but let me show you another method. We'll switch to manual masking and this time using the segment anything detector. Here's the magic. Left click defines our selection area, while right clicks remove unwanted parts. It's that simple. After saving to the node, we'll maybe remove the mask expansion to prevent those black pants from being included. Now let's focus on the person's photo. Since this outfit covers most of her upper body, hands, and also goes over the pants, automatic masking won't work here. It would only capture the existing clothing areas in the person's image. That's why we'll go straight to manual masking. We'll carefully outline her upper body, giving extra room here, and we might want to extend the mask to cover this hand as well. Make sure manual mask is selected here, then we'll activate sampling and hit run. Isn't it incredible how precisely we can transfer clothing from one perspective to another, the detail preservation is amazing. Let's try a different outfit, like this jumpsuit. And I'll manually mask the person, but when it comes to the outfit, I'll just choose human segmentation and check clothes. And this will select the entire clothes. Very amazing result. Let's try another experiment here. We'll be using this dress. As you can see, its shape is completely different from what the girl is wearing. As this photo contains only the dress, I'll go with RMBG, and there's no need for testing. But for the person, we'll go with manual mask again. This time we'll be masking her entire clothes, but we'll also add more areas to the sides, so the model can draw the dress correctly. Let's hit save and run the queue. Throughout our tests, we've tackled numerous challenging outfits of varying complexity. And this workflow has consistently delivered accurate clothing transfers. While we've explored advanced masking techniques, remember it all comes down to proper masking. I intentionally selected these difficult cases to demonstrate the workflow's full capabilities. However, in most cases, you'll simply use a photo containing just the outfit. So you'll be using RMBG, choose top or bottom clothes, and run the workflow. That's it. As you've seen, we're using multiple custom nodes in this workflow. We'll install all of them with just one click using Comfy UI Manager. Simply select Install Missing Custom Nodes, check all the nodes and hit Install. Now, some models like those used for human segmentation and RMBG will download automatically once you run your first queue. 
However, the key models we need to manually download are linked in the description below. So the VAE goes to ComfyY Models VAE folder. Clip L goes to Clip. T5XXL goes to Text Encoder. Flux1 Fill goes to UNET. Seg Clip goes to Clip Vision. And Flux Redux goes to Style Models. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my Patreon to support the channel. See you in the next one.